The Amtrak Cascades is a rail service in the northwestern corner of the USA. Trains operate daily, serving large cities such as Portland, Seattle, and Vancouver. Using brand new engines, the Siemens Charger to be specific, the service is running smoother than ever, and on the date of December 18th, 2017, a new change would be made to further improve the service. The system was to travel through a new stretch of track, named the Point Defiance Bypass, which would save commuters a whopping 10 minutes to travel along this route. But then, disaster struck. Train 501 was destined for the terminus of Portland, Oregon. It consisted of a brand new Siemens Charger, road number 1402, as a head engine, a Talgo Series 6 train set, and a P Ford 2DC road number 181 at the rear. Filled with 83 people, the train was flying down the new portion of track, traveling at a click down the track. Everything was proceeding accordingly until 7.33. Three more, Jack. Amtrak 501 entering Centralia North, over. Amtrak 501, emergency, emergency, emergency. We are on the ground. Okay. We are on the bridge, five in the square. Ah, uh, that'll do. Easy stop, Jack. Bye. The train was thrown off the rails, sending tons of steel onto Interstate I-5. Engine 1402 was first off the track, flying onto the interstate below. All of the trailing equipment except for Engine 181 was sent off the tracks, three of the train cars ending up on the interstate below, one even ending up inverted underneath the overpass. But the damage does not just affect the train. The I-5 is no small highway, and there was traffic traveling under the tracks at the time of the wreck. Among the wrecked train, there were vehicles such as trucks and civilian cars. In the end, 62 of the people on board were injured, but that's not all. Two rail enthusiasts were killed on impact with the ground, and a third died while receiving treatment. This was a sad day in the history of Amtrak. Almost as soon as the wreck happened, the media started commenting, talking about how people were to blame. Even President Trump had to say something on the matter, taking the time to express his worth in the United States infrastructure. But was that what really happened? Well, naturally, the NTSB started an investigation almost immediately, finding the black box of locomotive 1402. What they found shocked them. The driver approached the curve at a speed of approximately 78 miles per hour. This is way too fast, considering the limit on this curve is 30 miles per hour. The engineer is on record saying that he did not see the advanced speed sign or milepost 18, mistakenly thinking he was at milepost 17. The engineer applied the train's brakes after seeing the final speed signpost immediately north of the curve. This slight mistake led to the demise of multiple people. In the end, engine 1402 was sent back to Siemens for repairs, but the Talgo Series 6 train set was entirely destroyed and was sent to be scrapped. The sad part about this accident is that it could have been avoided had the engineer been paying more attention to the mileposts, or with an innovation called positive train control. But the PTC system was not in place, and the engineer zoned out for a few seconds too long, leading to this horrible disaster. It's not all bad news, though. The Point Defiance Bypass is being fitted with positive train control as we speak, and it is said that Cascades will run on the line again in the spring of 2019. Let's just hope that the three lives were not lost in vain on that day. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this documentary. Before I go like to give thanks to the Thunderbolt 1000 Siren Productions for the inspiration behind this video. Thank you for your time, and tune in next time on Apple Entertainment.